All right, best of fives all day today. First killer versus CRR. A match that I think holds quite a lot of importance for first killer in particular. He's in Europe right now preparing for Gamers 8, and it was at Gamers 8 last season that his team phase were eliminated from the tournament in the semi-final by CRR's team guild. And not only that, it was in the 1v1. CRR came back from behind to beat first killer and uh, advance into the grand final. So first killer will want some revenge here. And he's been in fine 1v1 form recently, coming in as one of the top seeds of the tournament. And definitely the favorite of this group. Got to look out for Atto, though. He's been on the rise recently. I did this on purpose. I didn't, I honestly didn't tweak the uh, seeding at all in any way in order to make this one happen. This was completely according to seeding. I seeded first killer fourth for this tournament. I seeded CRR fourth last. Uh, I think, what does that come to? Yeah, 13th. Nice fake by first killer to kick things off. Now he's, like I said, been in brilliant 1v1 form recently. Uh, taking Jack down in their most recent matchup and uh, really establishing himself again as the number two player in North America for 1v1 after Daniel, um, who's going to be playing on stream later today. CRR, player who once was challenging for the top spots in the European 1v1 ladder. That's a great shot. <laughs> That's a perfect shot. CRR gets on the board. Yeah, now CRR, after moving over to North America, kind of slipped down the rankings a little bit. Uh, but he's still there or thereabouts, get, able to give a good series to just about anyone. Kira, thanks for the 41-month Prime. Also, oh, hey, v lad for the 7-month Prime. Welcome back. Oh, that's not the landing first killer wanted at all. He might be conceding here because he's he has landed about as badly as he could after trying to control both the ball and his own car. Uh, Bubblegum, thanks for 65 month prime as well. He says it's going to be at least 100 months. Hey, maybe in if it was that now, three years time, we'll have to revisit that one. That would be insane. So, Seven Bean, thanks for the 45 month prime, also three month prime from Pyro Infernia, and QWERTY for the 50 month year one. Welcome back to you guys. Hope you're all enjoying the tournament so far. Is Jack third seed? Jack came into this uh, tournament as, I believe, fifth seed. Uh, now the only tweaks that I did for the seeding was oh good shot by CRR oh he's denied by the crossbar but that was beautiful with the pinch from midfield like I was going to say though the only tweaks I did with the seeding is that I put the top four players from Europe uh, well European servers and the top four players in NA servers in different groups because one of the beauty, uh, one of the beautiful things about this tournament is that you do get to witness these cross-region matchups on low ping for a change. So, uh, first killer is in the same group as Atto, who's one of the top four seeds for Europe. Apparently, Jack was in the, in the same group as Moxie. Uh, Rawas, same group as uh, Toxic. And Yan, funnily enough. Yan and, and Rawas were supposed to be on a collision course, but they never played. And uh, you've also got Daniel and Naipo in, a, in the, the same group. Although that, that one's a bit of a dual purpose. That will be an all EU server game. Daniel not in Europe yet. He's the only player in this tournament not in Europe or Middle East at the moment. Yeah, Daniel and Naipo play later on today. It will be an all EU server game. Uh, first skill is just a bit too quick, bit too efficient at the moment. CRR is going to need to get gritty and chasey I think if he's going to surprise first killer that's how he surprised him at Gamers A last season he just kept ball chasing essentially that's a bit of an overextension by first killer again though not the first time this game that he has overextended and conceded Daniel's uh, bad on EU ping I would disagree I think Daniel is a very very good player on EU servers even though he's going to be on a uh, 90 or 100 ping. Naipo usually gets about 100 ping on EU servers as well, so it should be pretty even if they do match up. For Daniel's Razier's matchup, um, that one will be half EU, half US East. Says first killer over extended again. This is very surprising. I did not expect to see first killer conceding so many free goals 
if one thing you can expect from first killer in 1v1, it's that he will pretty much always be back in defense um, between the ball and his goal at all times. But now the third time this game, he has not been back. And you include the kickoff goal as well, that's four times. He has not been back to defend against CRR's counters. And it's really that first killer is overextended, not really that CRR has been looking to counterattack. What an upset this would be. We've not had too many upsets. I suppose uh, Toxic beating Yan is an upset for some people. I think for me it was. Um, definitely for it to be so one-sided. Apart from that, the only upset we've had was Khaled beating Jack once, but Jack avenged that loss. CRR being first killer is not an upset. It, it would be an upset. It definitely would be. Um, but he's getting it so far. CRR, again, able to catch first killer off his goal line. That's a beautiful recovery. Oh, what a pre-flip as well by CRR. Masterful by the Spaniard. Toxic winning wasn't an upset. Well, I mean, like I said, according to rljules.gg, Toxic was supposed to win. But if you ask fans of 1v1 and, uh, you know, players who play in this tournament, they'd probably say that they think Yan is a favorite. Uh, Yan was sitting ranked two in 1v1 at the time of that match being played. So, you know, show match record might not be too good for him right now, but his ranked form has been spectacular. And that's probably, in my opinion, why he was slightly favored on paper uh, to beat Toxic. And Toxic doesn't care about paper. He just puts the ball in your net. First killer, fake CRR off the plate. There's not a lot of boost to play with. CRR pre-jumps and then flies towards the rebound. Lovely defense again by CRR, wasting valuable time. First killer needs a whole lot more than he does. And a frustrated first killer. Denied another opportunity to score. And CRR scores on the counter-attack once more. I think strategically this has been a bit of a disastrous game one for first killer. He does not look himself. Uh, when it comes to positioning. He, he looks pretty good mechanically, I'm not going to lie. I think when it comes to mechanics, First Killer does have CRR's number, but CRR has easily um, outsmarted him in this one. Did not really have to try too hard. First Killer outplayed himself a few times as well. Smokey J, thanks to the Prime. Can First Killer conjure up a kickoff strategy? He's delaying his kickoff here, and he's wave dash to recover fast. And puts in another goal. <laughs> CRR did not see that one coming. First killer. Able to control CRR's kickoff there. CRR almost rolled through the ball, but not quite. And now he's got a long time to go. CRR will have to be careful here. Looks like he will have control of the next play. And he's wasting time. CRR making the right play at the right time. First killer has kept it up, but CRR is going to try and trip him. First killer escapes. He's got an open net with the air dribble. CRR quickly coming back. Can first killer get it over him? No, he can't, but it's on the goal line. Then it's anyone's to play for. CRR off the inside of his own post. <laughs> Just barely gets there. But what a recovery that was by first killer. I can't believe he managed to get back to the ball. CRR tried to trip him up on a zero second play. And it looked like it worked. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure how First Killer shrugged that one off, but wow. What a stat line. 18 shots for First Killer in that first game. And uh, a lot of goals on the counter-attack for CRR. Yeah, probably the most interesting stat on that uh, scoreboard is zero saves for First Killer. I don't remember the last time I saw a zero save game for First Killer. He's already got one in game two. Oh, first killer just gone for the boost at a bad time. Yes, he has. Well, that was extremely careless. CRR didn't have a lot of boost to play with either. Oh, first killer, I mean, he knew that he was making a mistake. As soon as he went for that, you could see his urgency to turn back to net. But once again, CRR has outsmarted him. Or did first killer just outsmart himself? Historically, first killer was known as a defensive player in ones. He was known as a counter-attacking master, one of the most difficult players to score on. 
I think, you know, if he gets back to his roots, he should be able to make that strategy work against CRR. CRR's got a good physical game and he's got a good ground game, but First Killer should be more than capable um, of handling it. And it looks like so far he has positioned a little bit more conservatively. Oh, nice shot by CRR. That one's gone through 2-0. I don't think First Killer expected him to just shoot this one first time. CRR half volleys it. <laughs> first Killer was again thinking about going for boost. Chocolaté, thanks for the 40 month year one. Good to have you back. First Killer on the board with a nice bump post kickoff. The wave dash recovery kickoffs have been effective for First Killer in this match. CRR has not been too bothered by all that. He's going to be a bit bothered by that one, though. First killer leaves a mid-boost for him. Ball cam dribbling by FK. CRR to flex the ball into the back corner. That's a bit of an awkward touch for him to deal with, but first killer with no follow-up threat allows CRR to get back in control. And where on earth is first killer going? This is honestly one of the weirdest defensive performances I've seen from first killer. Maybe the all-time weirdest. I mean, I don't know what on earth he's doing here. He's faked a challenge so late that CRR just walks the ball into the open net. Great fight off the ball. CRR with another momentary open net. And he puts it in long before FK can recover. First killer has no answer for CRR's simple clinical gameplay. Another boost grab for CRR. Wants to keep the pressure on First Killer here. That's exactly what's going to happen. This time, First Killer will find a safe moment to grab the boost, though. Get dribbling with ball cam on. Just to sneak a look past the ball there. First Killer has a flip here, but not really an angle to use said flip with. CRR backs him all the way down to the other end of the pitch, but we can see CRR's aggression. First killer thought he was going to back down there. CRR was not interested in doing so. Another floor pinch attempted there by the Spaniard, who's up early here. It's not a bad clear. First killer is going to be able to collect it. CRR again, making him work for every chance on net. What a save! <laughs> First killer. Not yet an opening. CRR thoughts otherwise. First killer with a monstrous reset. Goes way too high. And it's another counter attacking goal for CRR. <laughs> I don't think first killer expected to have that much height on the flip. But <laughs> he did not have a backup plan after it happened. This is absolutely bizarre. First killer has... I think improved slightly with his defensive positioning. But he still cannot find the appropriate balance. Now here he comes in with another aerial play. CRR's jumped once to fake and now tries to save on the goal line. Unsuccessfully. First killer puts in his second goal. Yeah, it was a fake challenge there by CRR. First killer just a bit too clinical with the double tap. Doesn't First Killer usually struggle with European players? Um, I mean, he's not had that many matches against European players as of late. First Killer doesn't live in a part of the US that can play on European servers with uh, green ping. I think he usually gets the yellow ping connection, which is kind of disgusting to look at. But uh, yeah, historically, he did struggle a bit with European players. That was not a recent thing, though. First Killer could just scored this open net if he wants to, but he's taking a bit too long. CRR got back in time. Remains three goals to the good. Now, how's First Killer's confidence? If he's confident, he will just aerial here, and he does. So he's definitely still in this one mentally. Lands on CRR and forces the own goal. That was from the air dribble bump family here. CRR was trying to wait for First Killer to fly over him. But that moment came too late. CRR keeping a close eye on First Killer with the kickoff strats at this moment. Probably still has First Killer's 
sneaky kickoff goal in mind. His uh, last goal that he scored in game one. Final minute now. CRR with a huge flake and it's in off the bar. Well, that is just again a magnificent play by CRR. First killer wasn't even badly positioned here, but the flick from the halfway line was too powerful. And it was placed to perfection. First killer in another desperate position, but he does have control of the ball. And he's got the outplay. CRR not able to recover. One goal for first killer. Cuts the lead to two. Lyrically Zaid, thanks for the tier one. Welcome to the channel. More possession for first killer. Sidewall air dribble from distance. Double reset from first killer. Pre flip, and it's in. CRR got a piece of it, but not enough. Can you blame him? That is a pretty tricky shot to stop. First killer putting it back across into the near post. Area CRR had just vacated. CRR out muscling first killer to win the boost, but a wall dash fails, and that gives first killer an opening. Looks like he was going for some kind of double tap there, but CRR has missed the open net at the other end. CRR with a fake challenge. Now a bump onto first killer. He could waste time again. It's how he ended the last game. He knows first killer's completely boost starved here. And with that mid boost pick up 100, now CRR just has to get the ball down again, and he does. 2 0. First killer in a world of trouble here. CRR is upsetting the group as we speak. How's uh, Atto versus Nas going, by the way? You guys are watching Rizzo's stream at the same time. Nice timing by First Killer. Opens the scoring in game three with a tidy flick out play. Very nice uh, vision there by First Killer. Check into see the timing of CRR's approach. 1 1 Atto winning 3 1 in game three. Yeah, Atto's the favorite there, in my opinion, but not by much. Nas has been very effective recently. CRR is way out of position here. First killer taking his time with the air dribble from distance. Close range reset. Actually turns into a bit of a mind game, but CRR still saved it. Still see first killer trying to wake himself up a little bit here. He's, uh, I think by his standards, performed a little bit sluggishly in the mechanics department. He's not been way off. Don't get me wrong. But he's not been peak first killer, that's for sure. CRR has been playing a very clean game. Just I say that, he gets dirty with the bump. First killer looks to return the favor, which was dodged. First killer's been in Europe for a while, of course. He came over for World Championship and he just never left. He loves it here. He just can't get enough. Um, so yeah, I don't think he's jet lagged or anything. Yeah, just I, I think game one probably uh, shook first killer's confidence. He he messed up so many times over extending, which is very rare to see from him. And he's had nothing uh, in answer to CRR's flicks in these last two games. It's another brilliantly placed flick by CRR. Plenty power as well. Gotta give credit where it's due. CRR wants possession. Now, he's very good at these awkward little touches before he runs away to get boost. He always gets one extra touch on the ball or multiple extra touches on the ball just to waste first killer's time and to force him out of position. CRR playing for the boost. First killer went for the shot on net. It came off the post. Boost seal has come through for first killer. CRR again playing a very nice positional game. Notice all these touches by CRR. Are putting first killer in uncomfortable positions. 
But no, eventually, CRO's crafted a very, very good position for himself. First killer has to leave the play to get 100 boosts in the corner. So that, that gives CRO all the time he needs to snipe another top corner. CRO just found ways to create small advantages for himself there. It seemed like every touch that both players made started to swing it more in his favor. That's a great shot from first killer. We need to see his POV on this one. Absolute perfection with the air roll shot. CRR in the area, but not ready for that. Lancer and uh, Kun, thanks to the 46 month prime. Nico Dev with the prime, welcome to the channel. Great recovery by CRR. Has he got an open net here? No. First killer shuts the door on it. First killer again, looking to see where CRR is. CRR fakes a challenge. And no flip for first killer there. Left him out of options. And now he's in a bit of trouble as CRR just goes straight down the middle of the pitch and fakes him out of the near post. It's just no nonsense play by CRR. First killer thought he was going to go up the wall. Instead, he just goes directly to the goal and then fakes him out. Such a clean performance by CRR. You know, I said it at the start of this series that first killer is the favorite, but if CRR can sweep him, that would be almost unheard of. First killer, wall shot, CRR! Dives back and closes the door on that one as well. Another impressive defensive stand. CRR opens up an angle with the dribble. The shot is like luster, but it sets up a boost steal. First killer managing his boost quite well, though. Does CRR know that? Not going all in, so it looks like he is going to respect first killer's boost management for now. And the air roll shot is sufficient. CRR misses the follow-up. First killer wanted that boost on, on spawn. In fact, he just pinches it. Oh my goodness, what a shot. CRR is expecting a slow play. And out of nowhere, with almost no run-up, <laughs> first killer has just pinched him from across the pitch. I mean, CRR just had no idea. Six boosts and a flick. It's down off the bar and clear. Will first killer get back in time? No, he won't. CRR confidently slams it top bins. And we have a tie game once again. First killer desperately needs to keep his nose in front here. He does have control again. And a lot of boosts to play with. His flip reset play falls short of being dangerous to CRR. CRR once again keeping the ball in awkward positions. And that is a complete giveaway by First Killer. I'm not sure what he had in mind there, but it definitely wasn't what happened. CRR taking the mid boost away from him. First Killer still got a decent amount to play with. CRR able to dispossess him. Once again, first killer lands a demo in the midfield. It's wide open, but it looks like he shot it poorly. And CRR is stuck in his own goal. What on earth is he doing? Oh my goodness. First killer's shot was nowhere near powerful enough. But CRR just, <laughs> he just stuck it in his own goal. What? That was completely unforced. I don't believe it. <laughs> Who gave Zen the controller? <laughs> And CRR with a little parking maneuver. He's completely outplayed first killer. Masterfully done. He just reverse parked in front of first killer. Flipped in the way as well. First killer's recovery impeded not once but twice. What a game. CRR put first killer in front and out. Takes the lead away from him. A boostless first killer. Looking to stay on the ball. He's landed a boost seal here, but CRR is still in a very good position. First killer almost landed on the wrong side of that one. It looks like he might have the final play. No, CRR beats him to it. That's going to be in. CRR too quick, too clinical. Sends first killer to the lower bracket. What a result. I did not see that one coming. <laughs> That's... That is a huge upset in my opinion. I know a lot of you guys at the start of this match were saying that uh, 
CRR is supposed to win this and First Killer stands no chance, but First Killer is ranked way, way higher than CRR recently um, in the 1v1 world. And that was just a clean, controlled performance from CRR.